Hello everybody and welcome to my channel again and um, happy Bionicle Day. Now for those of you who are watching this video, you're probably wondering what the heck is a Bionicle Day? Basically every 10th, uh, uh, every August 10th or whatever, supposedly it's a day to celebrate Bionicle and its existence. And, uh, you know, today I wanted to do something special for you guys. Uh, today we are going to play the infamous, the one and only, Matanui online game. Except it's not online because I downloaded it. So, yeah. Alright, so let's get this thing booted up, shall we? I don't know how to do a proper let's play, so just just work with me. Okay, let me see if I can find it. You haven't been here in a while. Uh, I think it's this one. Yes, it worked. All right. Play full screen because my computer is no slouch. Yeah, it can't properly download or, like, it won't. You guys know about that Bionicle fan game, Masks of Power? This computer can't run it for some reason, I don't know. I would have played that, but, you know, stupid computer won't run that, but it will run this perfectly fine, so, you know. I guess because the file sizes are different, I don't know, I have no idea about computers. Yeah, I upload videos on a YouTube channel, so, hate me all you want, I don't know, I didn't. Yeah, okay. Chapter one. Oh, this is cool. I forgot how awesome this game was. What is that? Let me see. I don't know which way to go because there are footprints leading that way. Suggesting that I should go there first. But then there's a person here. Who is this? It looks like Maku. Who are you? Oh, that is Maku. Okay. Huh, dumb dumb. Silly old me. What happened? I was away when the Rahi attacked, and when I returned, the monsters were everywhere, destroying everything in sight. The Kamara and the others barricaded themselves into a hut to hide, but the Rahi broke the pump, and the hut sank beneath the waves. Huh. Oh, it's a Tarakava. I've always wanted to own a Tarakava, but I've never had the chance to buy one i'll probably order one off of Breaklink or something or just like the parts and build one yeah i'll probably do that will you help me yes i will help you why wouldn't i <laughs> okay we're trying to find galia the right here i'm near the village she's the only one who can defeat them uh she's on a great quest and may be very far away okay i have no idea why it takes so long to read that the only way to get back to Gokoro is here by sea, so you must take my boat and I will search the Toa on foot. Uh, good luck in Tanakama that I am safe. Okay, we will very much do that if we can find her. Oof. See, what I like about this game is that, like, you can, it's like very interactive, it's open world I guess you could say, I don't know. It's really cool, I like how they did all this. It's, for 2001, this is actually pretty good, or 2002, I forgot when this game came out. <laughs> One of you will correct it in the comments below. Alright. I noticed like, people have a problem, or like they can never figure out the puzzle here. It's actually not too hard. I know which zones go where. See? 
First try. Easy that. Okay. Isn't there supposed to be a light stone here? From what I remember? Or do I have it? Okay, I have it here already. Never mind. Who is that? Who is there? Maku sent me to rescue. Maku escaped. We were so worried about her. We were trapped under the water. The door is stuck. We can't open it. If the village punch, if the village pumps are repaired, the hut will rise to the surface, and we can escape. The Rahi smashed them, and and pieces fall into the water. If you find a missing piece, put it back in the pump machine. It will float us back up. I left the light stand on my hut. It might help you see underwater. Please hurry. Okay. I'll be right back. Don't worry. I'll save you. Uh, I, would always, I would always love to go underwater. Because the music. You hear that music? Oh, that's awesome. Oh, look, I already found the machine part. <laughs> I wonder, can you go any... Can you go anywhere else? Look, the fish move when I... Oh, that's so cool. Nobody cares about how to move on. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Okay. Okay, we should get them out of there before they drown. You guys should let me know, should I do more Let's Plays like this? I mean, if you made it this far, you clearly want to see more. Unless you don't, which, you know, it, it's fine if you don't. And I think it's funny. That was a Toa torso, and those gears can't actually be placed there. I mean, I guess they could, but you'd have to modify it in some sort of way, I don't know. You know what I always thought was a cool idea? What if, like, you know, LEGO made a show, but they used this kind of animation? That'd be so cool. But, you know, they had a budget, so, you know, this makes sense that they made a game instead. I guess really just what it comes down to is that the G1 marketing was just really good. Like, it kept kids wanting more they never revealed much in the commercials and whatnot get the mystery alive something i wish g2 would do which you know i'll get into g2 a little bit later but yeah hello hero thanks for saving us now we will go back to our fishing okay uh -huh. see like you see how this yeah this piece can't actually do any of that <laughs> But it's cool. It's fine, whatever. This is the Tarakava that attacked the village. Don't be afraid, he is no longer under the dark influence of Makuta. That's cool. You know, like the Rocky. You know, they're wild animals. They just turn savage whenever they get a corrupted mask. I don't know. I always thought that was pretty cool. It's a cool idea. Not all Rocky are bad. A good example would be uh, Puku, but then again, it's a crab. There's <laughs> not much you can do with a crab. Or at least it's not very menacing in this world. Look, it's no comma. Thank you for rescuing us. You are bold and true to your word. All the Matarn of Gako Gakoro owe you their gratitude. For once, I am glad that Maku snuck away from the village so that she could find you. Yeah, no problem. You're filled with many questions and mysteries, Manui, my friend. Give you, uh, giving you some of the answers you say because of a uh, small payment for your deeds. But I offer you what knowledge I can. Okay. Our soldier has seen great changes in the skies. It has 
Red of the dark future of mine and me. Oh! Foreshadowing. I like that this game has a lot of foreshadowing, you know, for the later years as well. Who am I? I think someone has plans for you that are greater than- Yeah, see? Because, spoiler alert, you know, mute the video right here. Or skip a couple of seconds ahead. But, uh, it turns out that I'm playing as Takua, who, you know, later on in the series becomes the seventh Toa. So, yeah. Should I be reading all this out loud, or should, should I just be like... I don't know. This is the first time I've ever done a playthrough. Because uh, I already know who these two are. What of Maku? Maku after the Uh, the village to spy on Huki, the Koli Chevy. She's supposed to be practicing her boating, but I know the truth. And it's far too dangerous for her to be outside of the village now. Yeah. I'm just gonna let you guys know right now. Huki X Maku for life. <laughs> Screw what Greg says. I don't care. How am I help you now? I'm, I'm good, thanks. Good luck, Brave Adventure. Thank you very much. Who lives here? Oh, yeah, that, that person. The astrologer. Have you other questions for me? The heavens are in turmoil. I must chart their functions. Uh, who are you? I am the astrologer. I watch the stars and the water. Do astrologers study water as well? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm not an astrologer myself. I'm not that smart. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? No, you already told me what you're doing. How do I use the telescope? I already know how to use that. Thank you. Like, I've played this game before, but, like, it's been so long. Uh, I haven't played this in, what, two, three years? I never got around to beating it. My poor hooky. Yeah, so... I want to see if I can do that now. You know. Uh, where would you like to go? See how to put while he stay here. See how to talk. Uh, go to Tawaki. Because I feel like there's more to explore there before I go to Powahi, which is, you know, my favorite uh, region or whatever. Village, whatever. Uh, if you didn't already know. I'm gonna do the telescope first. That is some awfully creepy music for a telescope. I like how you say this music is creepy, but I... Like, it's mesmerizing at the same time. I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> Ugh, the soundtrack for this game is awesome. I didn't look at this properly, did I? Was this a prophecy? Where they wash up, they awake. I, mean, uh, I don't know what this is supposed to be. I think that this is just... I have no idea. Uh, this is the Rahi, I think. This is where... I have no idea what happens here. I think this is where they... This is where they find the, their golden masks, like, for sure. Uh, this is where they... I have no idea <laughs> what, you, what most of this means. I know this is where they uh, have to re reawaken Maranui. Or something like that. Or is it this one? I don't know. And then I like how they tease Borok right here, too. That's, that's, that's a nice touch. Like a very subtle there. But yeah, it's cool. I would always like to watch this too. It's like watching a movie.
You know what I just realized? Someone needs to take this whole cutscene right here and turn it into an anime opening. That would be hilarious. I don't know. If there's someone, you know, watching this video, listening to me say this, I dare you to do it. I dare you to do it. That would be hilarious. I would love to see that. That's a Toa, right? Yeah. Those represent the Toa. These guys right here, for those of you who don't know, but yeah. So cool. Okay, let's go here. Ooh, there are two pathways. Should I go here? Or should I go there? I'm gonna go here. Because I feel like that. Yeah. There's stuff to do here. Oh, look at that. Well, look who it is. The man, the myth, the legend, Jala. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, Jala is a very important character to the story. He, um, he's like the head of the guard or whatever. It's pretty cool. I know, like, later on he actually becomes a Toa or something like that, which is pretty cool. Yeah, see, Jala got down to the guard, you know. Didn't Lego get, like, sued for some of the names they were using? Like, Jala was one of the names, and they had to change it to Jaller. Or something like that. They got like a lawsuit. But like they were super nice about it too. Which I thought was pretty funny. <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> like a little cheer. Or like a battle cheer or something. What's this? Love a surfboard. Oh that's cool. So if you guys uh, keep hearing noises, uh, my family's here. I know, right? Like it's it's not a it's a bad time to have family around. <laughs> I've been pretty busy today, so I had time to do this, though. So that's fine. Have you, you, so you have found your way back after all. You are brave, and I do not know what brought you to this city but you should take care there are some who remember you the temper of Takara Matoran Boyas Sufli is a great mangai and whose shadow we live I don't I keep forgetting what that is but in this our first hour of hope you may find the villagers patience to be greater than usual yes there is hope in Takara Tahu is here it is Jala who found him he caught him in the garden tempted for he was almost the end of my grave captain and his famous card. I love how Lego packed so much character into the McTorn. It's so cute. <laughs> they have such great personalities. Is that Kapura? I think that's Kapura. This always cracks me up. I don't know why. <laughs> and then there's Kapura, yeah, right there. <laughs> uh, I love this so much. I like how everything's like animated, or how like they, they animate all this, the, the style of it. it. It's really cool. Very cinematic.
people are elated, but I know that their courage will be tested now more than ever. Taku's arrival marks the first step in the great struggle. I have much to do. Okay, how do you know me? Well, I'm obviously a Tomatoran, so you know. He knows me. Who's Tahu? I know who Tahu is. Who are you? That's Wakama. I'm sorry, we're having a little time for you. That's nah, cool, dude. I know you're busy. Don't give me a... I have much work to do. I'm preparing for the arrival of another. I am not certain, but the stars have revealed a new prophecy, which I do not yet fully understand. Yeah. I feel like they should make a movie about that unknown prophecy. Yeah, because that, that'd be cool, right? You know, we'd get to see what that is. I'm bad at this. Okay. Is this, is this the forest? Yes. I hate doing this. I don't want to. But at the same time, like... Okay, I'm gonna get lost. Probably doing this wrong. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm lost. Yeah, I already I already messed up this whole process. <laughs> oh yes. So okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. I'm gonna go back to Gakoro and then from there we'll go to Pokora. Yes, please. Where would you like to go? Powahi, please. here hey what's that sorry don't get me any travelers around Powahi these days what can I do for you need a boat information or a souvenir maybe yes give me all these things right here please there's a Tarakawa just a Tarakawa please Powahi well it's not much to it really mostly sand lots of sand uh, but there at the Great Canyons, it's a really good book. Real, blah, <laughs> this is where the tongue stops working. Which are real pretty to look at if the sun or the rocky don't get to you first. And the path of prophecies with the, uh, which the ancient carvers made. I don't think... It's like the only time that they mention the ancient carvers, as far as I know. I'm not that into the lore. Like, I am, but I'm not. Like, I know the sets. And some of their, uh their relevance to the story but i'm not like that way into deep to the lore uh goodbye yeah, that's not, yeah thanks fun fact about me i get nosebleeds when you know when i work really hard in the sun like after a long time without drinking water i'll get a nosebleed nobody cares but you know so, uh, is this haku oh, no, for real? yeah This one's Pokoro, right? Yeah. Take it or leave it. <laughs> or Maha going cheap. Who this? Are you here for a cold match? No. I heard that like the second Machinoi Online game actually has Koile matches that you can play. I just haven't played the sequel. Uh, I just got a comment. I'll trade you two husks. Two husks you for me, yeah. 
What is cooling? Oh, might as well. You must not be around he from here. Quali is the greatest sport in all of Mount Inui. It's incredibly simple, but it takes much more skill than the sports they play in other villages. Quali is played on a Quali field. You're standing in the biggest one in Pauahe. But they don't have to be as fancy as this. All you need are, is four goals set up on each side of a square. There are four players. Each of the goals has a maturn to guard it. You win. You have to... To win, you have to kick Quali balls like this one into... Any of the other things. So basically, soccer, except there's three teams playing in one field. Cool. What is the comment? Well, that's the ball. Who is Huki? Well, Huki. Well, we'll get to that later. <laughs> that's cute. I love Coley, but everyone is homesick. Gee, I wonder why. Where'd he go? Darkness Bruce! <laughs> Wait, where'd, where'd the ball go? Do I have it? In my inventory? Oh, okay. There's an X here. <laughs> Who that? Oh, that hooky. It's supposed to be left alone. Yeah, that's hooky, right? Yeah, that's hooky. Why are you sick? I don't know. I've been here for how many days? I'm not even sure what you want to know. Oh, I remember when I would get sick and something similar like that would happen to me. For those of you who don't know, I've been operated in my appendix and this is exactly how it felt. Like, it was just terrible. I threw up like nine times. Nobody cares, but yeah. Uh, good times. I almost died too, so. Is it ruptured? Yeah, nobody wants to know that. Underwater! Hail adventure! You have come at an unhappy time at Pokoro. I fear I am about to announce to my people all the news that the, call the next call event will be canceled. Oh man. I do not think that even the great Pahatu could play at a time like this. Yeah, I bet. Who are you? I don't know who you are. That's Anua. Are you... Why are you canceling the Koli match? Well, you just told me. Who is Pahatu? Ah! <laughs> if you guys don't know who Pahatu is... Why the heck are you watching my videos? Anyway. But what? This is just the Koli ball. Not just any color ball, this is a special one being traded at the bazaar, which has become very popular. Thank you, Adventure, for showing this to me. You are as noble as your reputation and resource. So this opens my eyes to many things. If these balls are because of the illness, then we must take them away from the village and throw them into the sea. Wouldn't that affect Gakuro, though? <laughs> I don't know. However, this is a vital clue. I know the merchant in the... Uh, I know that merchant in the bazaar sells these balls. You must find out from him where these balls come from. Yeah. Yeah. He's a traitor with me. His name is Akmu, right? I think. Or something like that. Alright, goodbye. Yeah, d don't worry, dude. I got this. Should I talk to him or should I just... Hello stranger, are you looking for a coli ball? Let me recommend that comment. The best, or most popular model. Uh, how do I buy a coli ball? <laughs> we trade here like the rest of the bazaar. If you got something worth trading, I'll give you a coli ball. For it. Where do you get your coli balls? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm just say this straight up. Like, if you guys are gonna con uh, conduct an inv investigation, do it in a way that's very subtle. Don't do what I just did. <laughs> Because then that just, like, makes you kind of suspicious. But, like, unless you can do it, like, in an innocent tone, like, Oh, uh, where do you get your coli balls? Do you carve them, or do you, you know? I play a lot of scenarios in my head, so, you know, I always have things planned out. I'm one of those people who has, like, a lot of time to themselves. So, like, in my head, when I'm really bored, I'll plan out scenarios. How many ways it could go wrong, how many ways to prevent it. 
on the for you just said that. Like one time, I know this, this will come out as kind of weird, but one time me and my friend uh, in high school, we were talking about how to get away with the perfect murder. And uh, we got really close, but then I was all like, yeah, this is um, this is very weird to talk about. It was during history. <laughs> uh, okay. Is it this one? Okay. Right there. How about here? Is it wind? I don't think it's wind. It might be wind. Ah, hold on. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Uh, could that be fire? No, you know what? I think that's water. Yeah, it looks like it could be water. Oh. <laughs> Very Indiana Jones-esque. I like it. Let's get in there. Ah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> That's my boy. Adventure of the Scorpion has binded me for a minute. It'll be some time before my set returns. Tell me where to kick the ball, and together we can stir the new Jago's nest. All right, let's do that. All right, let's get ready. All right. Ah, okay. This used to always be my favorite mini game. No, no reason in particular. It's definitely not because I can play as my favorite Toa. Oh, that was a pretty close one. Ah. Latino. Soccer runs in my veins. Stop blocking the... Stop. Dale, dale. Am I actually kicking? Okay. It's because, you know, from that angle, it didn't look like he was kicking the ball. Silent number. Acha. I love doing this too. I don't know why. <laughs> it looks so cool. Palomita. El gol de Pelé. Let's get out of here. Yeah. You think? Oh, so cool. Excellent, my friend. We make a good team. My sight has returned to me. This was an evil plan indeed. Anuwa was right to call upon me. That was an effective mask set up uh, beside the Koli balls. But who left it there and placed the balls beside it? Gee, I wonder who. I will take this news back to Pokor and tell them uh, to carry the infected Koli balls into the sea. My mass power will uh, let me get to the village quickly enough, I think, uh, to save even Hoogie. You are a cunning alley friend and brave. I hope that we shall meet again someday. Yeah, me too. Oh, so cool. It's funny how he just left me, like, here, and I have to walk home, or whatever. I have to walk over there. <laughs> uh, this game. 
It can be pretty inconsistent, but I still love it. Another halfway reading again. Okay, so I guess my phone was recording, so I skipped out on a lot of uh, things. But basically what's happening right now is that my phone is running out of storage or whatever, so I might have to, hold on. So I might have to uh, split this playthrough or whatever, sorry about that. But uh, basically what's going on is that I'm trying to solve this freaking puzzle here. But um, now that we're here, I guess I might as well tell you guys uh, how I got into Bionicle. Which is a pretty interesting story, uh, in of itself, but, um, basically what happens is this. Uh, I'm in middle school, I'm on the app store looking for a new game. I'm looking for a new game on the app store, and, you know, I just got into LEGO because LEGO movie came out, was it the year prior? So, you know, I decided, hey, you know what, I'm gonna play some LEGO games. You know, see how, how they hold up. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going through, I play some of their games, none of them really impress me. And then I come across a Bionicle game, I'm like, okay, so, why is this here? <laughs> like, is it Bionicle cancelled or whatever? I was like, hey, screw it, I downloaded the game, I have fun with it. And I'm like, why would Lego make this if Bionicle is, like, no longer a thing? So then I go on Amazon... And, oh, look at that. So, basically, I go on Amazon, and I find that they're selling the sets there, you know, ready f for shipping. They're all in stock. I'm like, did they bring it back? So, then, you know, turns out they did. The web series is up and everything. And, uh, is this the limestone? Yeah, the lightstone mine. Lightstone to Deposits in this case, we'll keep on for, uh, for a long time. Pretty sure they'll keep the Rahi back to Yeah, so basically, I get in Bionicle G2, and uh, I read up about G1, and you know, uh, I got really excited for G, uh, G2, the first wave of sets, and then I got the entire second wave of sets. And then uh, 2016 rolls around, and I only get. Two, we only get like a couple of the 2016 sets because you know I ran out of, I had no room to put them, so I just went for my favorites. You know, obviously Pahatu and Qatar. Uh, LJ, if you're watching this, uh, Qatar, I know you hate that set with the burning passion, but well, you know, you know me. I was I was kind of a dumb adolescent, so whatever. Uh, so yeah, I got him G2. Oh, is this, is this dude still doing that? Okay. Um, what was I talking about? I was in a Bionicle G2 for a little bit. And then uh, 2016 rolls around. It gets canceled. I'm like, are we going to do this again? Like, seriously? I was just getting into it. And then I'm like, uh, I started getting into G1. Because, you know, the storytelling and the... Mainly the story. And, like, because the sets just look so nostalgic i guess and so now you know i'm a g1 fanboy but g2 has a special place in my heart because it reintroduced me because i was always aware of g1 as a kid but like i would always i wasn't a i wasn't a fan of bionicle but i was aware of it of its existence i got my first set in 2007 it was holly and then i got jala and then skipped 2008 i got krika and then we skipped to 2009. I wanted Modern New 8, but see, the thing is, is that 2008 introduced those, uh, those crappy, um, brittle joints that, that were, uh, a thing in 2008. And they, you know, transcended into 2009. So I was like, I want Modern New 8, because, you know, he looks cool, and people are making a big deal out of him. But I can't get him, because I know he's gonna break when I freaking breathe on him wrong, so... I was like, screw it, I'm not doing it. A couple of years pass, you know. Uh, I started buying old sets. Because, you know, to, through the power of BrickLink, I was able to order uh, parts for my new... I ordered some parts that wouldn't break uh, as easily as, you know, those 2008 joints. 
but yeah, ever since I've been a pretty big fan of a really big fan of Bionicle. It got me through some tough times. You know, there are, there were times where I just wanted to quit uh, school and stuff. Like it, it, it's it's a whole mess. But Bionicle that was always there. So was Transformers and Marvel, but mainly Bionicle. I got really into it. Lego in general, pretty much. But yeah, that'll that'll do it for this playthrough. Um, I wish I could keep going, but like I said, but the, the my phone is being really weird. So, uh, sorry about, like, you know, the, uh, the rough edits, or, I guess, like, certain cuts in the video, because, like I said, it's really weird. But if you guys want me to continue playing this game, let me know in the comments, and, uh, have a good Bionicle day. I wish I could have done something more, uh, special or honorable, but I've been kind of busy. I have a job, and, uh, I'm starting college in a couple of weeks, so my plate's kind of full. But... You know, when I have time, I'll make more videos. And, uh, subscribe, I guess, you know. Like, every YouTuber pleads for that. But, yeah. So, you know, if you feel like what you see here, like the video, subscribe, all that stuff, I don't really care. You don't have to if you don't want to.